Well, here we are again. We're back on the G4 topic because the employees aren't stopping. So there is a lot of interesting stuff coming out, like this IndieWire article here that says, why did the G4 channel close down? And they rightly put, well, it averaged 1,000 viewers. It's true. It did. Revived gaming channel G4 currently ranks dead last in cable viewers. Game over. I didn't even know it was on cable. I didn't even know it was on, it had any kind of cable channel. I feel like that's just a, a, mis, a misquote by them. But there are ratings on here from Nielsen. I didn't know they put it on regular TV. That's interesting. I'll have to look more into that. But the YouTube channel was only getting about a thousand something views of video, which is not good. Now, if they were a much smaller channel, that would be okay, but they had 134,000 subscribers. They used to have 600,000 subscribers, but they pulled a little bit of a switcheroo that happened sometime after the Frost Grant because the Frost Grant accelerated their downfall. And that's the stance that I've taken with her and G4's closing she didn't shut them down. They would have shut down regardless, but her rant accelerated that downfall. It put it into overdrive. They could have gotten another year or two. And during that time, hell, who knows? Maybe they would have figured things out, but we're never going to know now because her rant was the death blow, uh, the final nail in the coffin, as they say. And it got it shut down. So, yes. She's not the main reason they shut down, and she's not. it's not the only reason that they shut down, but yet yeah, she had a part to play in the acceleration of the downfall, if that makes sense. Like, she, she accelerated the end of G4. She's the reason they closed as early as they did, because she told people to F off, and they took her advice. They left. That's why they started losing and bleeding subscribers. After that happened. And of course, she came out, called them out recently, said that they never supported her. Initially, they lo they loved what she did. And this shows you that's more than enough knowledge right there to know that all of the executives were complete morons, that they would approve that and say that that was an okay thing for to do. Oh, this is stunning and brave. It's going to raise our stocks. Well, that didn't happen. That did not happen at all, and uh, G4 TV suffered a quick death because of it. G4 TV, I don't know if they'll ever come back. I think somebody will buy the brand. They'll get those channels, and then, I don't know, maybe they'll turn it into a Bitcoin thing or something. I don't know. But one employee stood up and decided that he was going to back her and go after Melanie Mack. He decided to attack Melanie Mack the other day. And even expanded upon it. Uh, this was his response to her. Keep your names out your mouth. None of us want your well wishes or pity. You are an idiot if you think single person can take a multi-million dollar business. And what Frost did was courageous and well attention, unlike the venom you spout behind your Christian veneer. Seething. Seething. Statement. And, uh, you know... Kind of, uh, kind of hateful, because Melanie Mack is a, it's a Christian woman. So going after her, calling her all kinds of nasty stuff, pretty wrong. Says women should be respected, but disrespects the hell out of her. You know, uh, but that's not surprising from a former G4 TV and BuzzFeed employee. BuzzFeed, by the way, really. So today, says this. Did not, wake, did not wake up today thinking I'd have angry alt-right neckbeard mob to contend with, but here we are. That's right. Everybody that disagrees with him is alt-right neckbeard. Of course. Naturally, right? Naturally. And then he made this statement right here. 
After I tweeted in support of Frost's statement against sexism in gaming, I woke up to thousands of angry comments from alt-right accounts because the quartering decided to make a video about it. I stand by it. Frost stayed at her office later than most. Was in most of, and was in most of our shows. She ran her own tournaments for G4 in her free time. Hell, she even made her own graphics. One of the hardest working employees at G4. She did not deserve all of that hate was not responsible for the company's collapse, and it's fucked how little support she received at the end. Well, she received a little support because people lost their jobs because of what she did. And I agree. She's not the main reason that G4 TV went down, but she she put a hell of a lot of speed force on it. And a lot of those people probably resent her because they would have had at least another year or so of G4 TV money if she hadn't told most of the users to go to hell. So she could sit and do as much work as she wants in the office. What does it matter if it's going to go down ship? Like, she ruined that network for a lot of people. People are tired of being told to F off. People are also tired of being told they're alt-right because they don't agree with you. Why is it always these loving liberals that are the most angry Vile people. They're they're always nasty to you. They always tell you they basically want you to jump in Minecraft lava and, and end yourself. It's always the loving left. It's always them. I barely ever see it from anybody else. But these super happy progressive people are always right there to tell you to jump into lava. Isn't that funny? By the way, Adam Sessler's back on Twitter, who has tweets out there. He might have deleted them, but they did exist, where he talked about how unhappy he was and how he was spending too much time on social media. So he had this big, long meltdown the other day. Now he's back fighting with people right away on Twitter. <laughs> like, imagine like living like this, like perpetually being angry, going on going on Twitter and just fighting with people all the time, which is what he's doing. Like, it's not as bad now. It's going to get worse because I can tell because he's responding to people again. Uh, This person says, is this the part where I'm supposed to respond with some shitty edgelord comment because you insult my mom? Also, hey, buddy, morning. He says, yes. This person says, ha ha, funny. Grow up, big guy. The show was always trash anyway. He says, but at least I had one. So now he's out there going after uh, fans of G4 and video games again. Then he'll move back on to Republicans because all he does all day is attack Republicans and have a one-sided conversation with Trump because Trump has no idea who Adam Sessler is. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think about all this. Uh, I'm sure Adam is on the verge of going after people again, so we'll, we'll cover that when that happens. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video, check out my Rumble and my Locals, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Make sure to check out my Locals. There's a link in the description. It's a fun community that I'm trying to build over here. If you don't want to support me on YouTube, you can come over here. None of that money goes to YouTube. You also can just come over here for free, but if you are a supporter over here. I do plan on doing an extra live stream once a month and throwing links to the supporters so you can actually come on and have a supporter live stream with me. Also, it's a good place to catch all of my content. You don't have to worry about notifications like YouTube. They'll definitely work over here. So come check out my locals.